What is up everyone, Munch and Bunchin here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Last episode, we made it back to Moto Stoke City, and today we are ready to take on the Moto Stoke Stadium. But before we do, I believe we're actually supposed to head back to the Badoo Drop-In Hotel and have a rest for the night. But I actually want to take this moment that we're finally back in Moto Stoke to check out the Boutique, my favorite spot in the entire Galar region, where of course we can shop for new outfits, and try on the clothes that we've already got before. Uh, so let's talk to this lady and see what she's got for us. Now, I believe I've already got a pretty nice outfit going, but for this gym, I decided I want to switch it up a little bit. And I wish you could take off the backpack to see the logo on the back there, because I know that the hoodie we've been wearing for the last couple of episodes has the champion Leon, and it actually says there the tagline for it is the champ. Uh, but we also have Sunset City and Grey Greed which we can't really see what those are, unfortunately. Actually, with this backpack, you can kind of see better too, so. Let's grab the sport travel bag, put that right on there. Uh, for some reason, it's like way less expensive than the plaid travel bags, which in my opinion, don't look as cool, but to each their own, you know? But um, I guess Grey Greed is the little Squover evolution, Squovet, I forget what it's actually called, but Sunset City actually looks pretty cool, even though it is a white hoodie, so I'm not gonna get it because those things get dirty too easily, but uh, one more thing I want to get is actually the iconic style sports sweatshirt, and we're gonna throw that on. Um, I believe we actually have to go to the dressing room to be able to take off the hoodie though, which is a little bit annoying. I wish you could just take it off from that menu, but it's fine guys. Let's go in here now and check out the stuff that we already have because we've also received gym leader outfits, which I think some of these are it, but all the way to the right, or I guess to the left, uh, you can actually put on the whole outfit at once. So we've got the challenger uniform, of course, uh, which is, you know, the outfit that we wear. But we also have the grass uniform now, which is Milo's gym trainers, the uniform that they wear. And now also the water uniform, which unfortunately does not have the crop top on the male. Or maybe fortunately for some people. I mean, to each their own, right? So depending on what you like, uh, maybe you wanted to see the character's belly button. I'm okay with this one, personally, you know, I don't I don't need to see that much, but yeah, we can't take off the backpack, which is kind of a bummer. I wish that you could, but um, it's fine. This yellow backpack is pretty neat, so anyway, let's uh, get our character in some nice new clothes here. I'm going to be wearing the sports sweatshirt, nice little orange design there, and I noticed that actually um, the game gives you a couple of outfits right from the start that we never got to check out, so you get the red and blue striped top. Uh, just like right from the beginning of the game. Anyway, let's put on that sports sweatshirt again And you also get the black skinny trousers, but I kind of like my tan ones Oh, actually, I just realized Nessa's uh, shoes fit really well with what we're wearing right now So I'm definitely gonna keep those on but I believe you also get the uh, Red ones that your character wears whenever you know you go out onto the gym field or whatever uh, But I really like the color of those Nessa ones. So we're gonna put those on and finally, we've got a couple of hats. This one I bought actually fits pretty well with the backpack, but I feel like the knit cap actually looks better right now with the outfit we're re wearing. I'm not a big fan of the gloves though. Uh, you also get some free gloves just from the beginning of the game, but I don't like them, so I'm gonna remove them. And yeah, just to make sure again, yeah, you cannot take off the backpack. So this is what we're gonna be rocking for now. I just wanna switch it up a little bit, put on something new, and should we update our league card? Sure, why not? Totally forgot to take off the glasses, but at this point, our character wears glasses, all right? We're not taking them off, at least for this upcoming gym. And now that we are looking, styling, and ready to go, ooh, there's actually an item over here that I somehow missed, but my Peter Tingle, my munchy senses tingled, and uh, I was able to sniff that one out or something. <laughs> Like I mentioned, I don't miss a single hidden item, okay? And I'm pretty sure as I mentioned that in the last episode or a couple of episodes ago, I literally missed an item, like right as I said it, but then I was able to uh, go back and get it. And I was about to head into the hotel, but I remembered that my Pokemon are actually a little bit beat up right now. So let's go and heal up real quick. And we are ready to go to the Moto Stoke Gym. Or, I mean, the hotel, because we do have to rest up before we can take on the gym, I guess. Uh, on the start menu, it tells you, you know, the mission objective. And right now, it says we need to go to the hotel. So, here we are. And there's Marnie, too. How are you? Uh, 
And your orange, right? Out giving it your all even this late, huh? Hey, help me with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Uh, alright. <laughs> Wicked! Got some fight in you, huh? Oh snap, the skull grunts! I mean, Team Yell grunts <laughs> pulled up out of nowhere. And they're actually going to be in the background of the battle, I guess, too. One thing that I haven't pointed out that definitely does bother me in these games, too, is the battle background sometimes. I'll feel awful if I lose, but there's no way I'm gonna. But yeah, I guess it's kind of minor. The fact that there's no battle backgrounds right now. It is weird that in Let's Go, somehow they figured it out and they had battle backgrounds for like every indoor area. But somehow in this game, we're just in the void of emptiness, the Shadow Realm. Or I wouldn't really call this the Shadow Realm. It's more like the Light Realm, actually. It's pretty uh, bright in here. But Marnie's first Pokemon is going to be a Krogunk. I was about to call it Toxicroak, but definitely a little Krogunk. Unfortunately, not going to put up much of a fight against our pluck from Robin there. But makes me wonder what the, like, uh, emphasis of her team is. Because I thought she was going to specify on Dark-type Pokemon, but Krogunk is a poison fighting. So it looks like more Pico is up next. And I believe it is an electric type, right? So actually, I'm not really sure why I went into Artorius, but I guess he can use all the experience he can get. So here is Marnie's ace Pokemon, more Pico. Wait a minute, is this thing actually a fairy type too? I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't really remember what type more Pico is, but I'm assuming it's electric because it is the Pikachu clone of this generation. Hmm, I think this move expresses my feelings. What do you think? I think... Going for Bite, this thing might just be a Dark Electric type. Whoa! More Picos going into Hangry Mode! Let's go! Of course, I'm always in Hangry Mode, as you guys know. Usually, I record in the mornings. Well, I record throughout the day, I guess, for this playthrough, because I've been trying to get out two episodes a day, and I know I haven't been able to exactly do that every day, but um, whenever I do record in the mornings, I'm always in Hangry Mode, man. And I'm definitely feeling it right now, so... I'm ready to go get some food after taking down Gym Leader Kabu. But yes, more Pico special ability there uh, will make it transform into either Hangry or Full Belly Mode after every turn. As Marnie goes for the Super Potion, which is kind of annoying, so we're gonna say, knock it off, girl. Can't quite knock off a potion, though. It's only the held item the Pokemon's got. But you know what? Since she went for one, I might as well use one too. Because Mojo is a little bit beat up right now. Uh, from more Pico's Bite, which is doing quite a lot of damage, so I am gonna... Or it's making me kind of think that it might be a dark type, like electric and dark or something. Or is it even electric? At this point, I honestly don't know. I also feel like I should have just gone for some Screeches, and we'd be doing a lot more damage right now, but... Tis fine, guys. Uh, we should be able to take it down with one more Razor Leaf, as long as we don't miss. Please don't jinx it. Okay, thank you, Mojo. Hits the Razor Leaf, and that is going to do it for her little Neapolitan ice cream uh, jelly bean hamster thing. <laughs> that is the most accurate description of a more Pico I've ever seen. But it looks like uh, Scraggy's up next. Okay. I actually really like uh, her team so far. It's full of, like, kind of fighting Pokemon. Not literally fighting type, but Pokemon that would, you know, pick a fight with someone. It'd be no fun if things ended just yet. That's why we aren't giving up. Well, let's not end it then. As Scraggy comes out, and it's time for some fighting on fighting action. Unfortunately for Scraggy, it is also a dark type. So our Rock Smash is going to be super effective there. Uh, and his low kick is not. But still did a lot of damage there. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, Artorias, you've got this dude, I believe. One more low kick. We should still survive, and we're faster, so... As long as he doesn't get a crit here. Okay, that was close, but did not get the crit. So our final Rock Smash will smash away the Scraggy. And I think that is Marnie's final Pokemon there. Or maybe not. I don't know, actually. I just realized this is our very first battle against Marnie. Pretty late into the game. We've already battled Bead twice. So either way, that is it. You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, huh? Nope, not at all. Artorias kind of came in clutch at the end there, smashing the competition. Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You'd better get to sleep too. Hoorah-rah! 
Urara, Uraraka? What was her name? The Gravity Girl from My Hero Academia. Made me think of that. The next morning. Every time I see that message, it makes me think of Spongebob, like the time cards. The next day. Morning, Orange. Good morning to you, my dear... Uh... Friend. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kabu's League card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Chuffed. Yet another British term to add to my collection that I don't know. Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. And we get some burn heals. What are you trying to say with that, Marnie? I think you were the one that got burned. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that mana fire Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get over to Moto Stoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? Oh, rah, rah. <laughs> More Pico is so cute, dude. I love it. What's up with you, though, middle-aged man? I quit my job just so I could watch the gym challenge. That's great. Don't know why you would do that. Gotta make money, dude. Gotta get that bread. <laughs> Probably doesn't have a family, or at least I hope not. Oh, you're the challenger that everyone's talking about. Yes, that's me. Kabu's a strong trainer, that's for sure. Anyway, it's time to go all out as we head over to Moto Stoke Stadium to take on Kabu's gym. And it looks like Hop already beat us to it, of course. Did you get your badge? Slow moving, aren't you, Orange? I've already got and earned my first gym badge. I mean, fire gym badge. That man of fire, Kabu's, just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Orange. I bet you could beat that mine of fire, too. Of course he did. Early bird gets the worm. That's what they all say, right? Anyway, before we take on the man of fire, I actually wanted to re-add uh, Charlie here to the team because this is, of course, a fire-type gym, and I think a water-type would definitely benefit us. Uh, but I also want Artorias to gain experience. So, unfortunately, Dubwool, who I'm pretty sure I haven't used in a single battle, <laughs> Is still not gonna get a chance to battle. I'm just, I don't know. Wulu's not my favorite Pokemon, honestly. <laughs> Maybe it's because Hop has given it a bad image in my eyes, but at some point, Dub Wool might get the chance to get in a fight, you know? So I totally forgot to check out Kabu's League card. Guess we might as well do that now, real quick, because I think Marnie said it might give us some tips on how to take him down. Look at that signature, Kabu. What are you doing, my guy? <laughs> Anyway, Kabu is a Pokemon trainer who was invited from the Hoenn region. There were a few times where he was very close to becoming champion, but victory always seemed to elude him at the last moment. Because of this, he adopted a no-holds-barred approach to battling for a time, but even that did not bring the results he wanted. He even dropped to the minor division at one point, but after a fantastic battle with Leon, he regained faith in his own potential. His motto is to keep learning and training as long as he's alive. So is this guy really as tough as people make him out to be? He doesn't sound that tough, honestly, from that Lee card there, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, here we are back in the fire stadium, and this time we've got our first two badges so we can actually take it on. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made his gym mission so hard, but I'll be happy to get you registered at once. Yes, we're ready. If you're here to challenge, we'll ask you to change first. Of course. As much as I like the new outfit we put together, we gotta put on our official uniform, so you may find the Fire Gym's mission a bit different than others you faced. In you go! I wonder what Kabu's got in store for us as we transition into the stadium. And it looks like we've got some grass. Is that a Vulpix right there? Okay. Are there wild Pokemon in this stadium? The gym mission for the Fire Gym is this, catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you are wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission, start! All right, thanks for the it. Info, my man, Dan, it's time to catch some Pokemon. And already we've got a little Vulpix here, so might as well go for that to get started on this uh, 
Very interesting gym mission. Oh, this is what they meant by there's multiple people. What the heck? Is he actually going to compete with us to try to catch the Vulpix first? Oh, geez. Well, um, we can actually knock out his Pokemon too with Brutal Sing. <laughs> that might be the strategy right there as his Roly Coley is going to get confused too. So maybe the Lucky Duckies will be on our side and make him hit himself in confusion as well. Yes, Brutal Swing it, Artorius. That actually did more damage on his Roly Coley than the Vulpix. And the Lucky Duckies are on our side. This is amazing. We could totally just Rock Smash his Pokemon too. That'd be kind of mean though, right? I mean, I'm trying to win though this gym challenge, so I don't really know what the best way to go about that is, but come on, hit yourself again, bruh. No, the Rapid Spin. All right, that's fine. We still get to Brutal Swing it and... Oh, one HP, really, dude? All right, well, we should probably go for the Pokeball on the Vulpix, right? Before he goes for one. Well, I don't know if he would go for one, actually. Is that how this gym challenge works? I don't know, but hopefully the Vulpix goes for an attack on Roly Coley. That would be great. And, oh, it actually hits both of us, which is fine, because it's going to take down the Roly Coley there. And now we're the only ones out here. Or not, because Darren has a Growlithe as well. Uh-oh. Okay, well, he said that you get more points for actually catching the Pokemon, so... Pokeball away! And it's gonna bust out immediately! That is not good. Not good at all. Uh, maybe we should just take it down then, because... Now he might sneak away the kill here. Or the faint. From under our noses. And he does just that. Oh no. The Lucky Duckies have betrayed us. Well... I might have messed up this gym challenge a little bit already. <laughs> oh my word! Is Challenger Orange really going to end this thing with not? What does that mean? No! <laughs> the other gym trainers are all stronger than me. Be careful out there. Oh gosh. So that was the weakest guy too, and we just messed that up completely. So what other Pokemon can we find in here? Oh! Okay. Well, there's a Sizzlypede. Was not expecting this guy to be out here. Um, thinking I should actually just have Dreadnaw or Charlie leading off the team because we want to just knock out these Pokemon as quick as we can so that we can actually win the challenge, you know? Like Dan just said, we don't want this to end in not, whatever that means. Um, but I wonder if you actually get experience for knocking out their Pokemon too. I don't think you do though. Oh, I should have totally gone for Rock Tomb. That's four times super effective on the Sizzlypede there. As we get burned, apparently. When did that happen? And who burned us? Was it Salandit or was it Sizzlypede? I sure hope it wasn't that Salandit, man. That'd be messed up. But regardless, uh, I think a Rock Tomb should still take it down, even if we're burned. It's four times super effective. And Dreadnought definitely has a better physical than special attack. So let's see. Then it does take it out. And at least we get the points for this Sizzlypede. So if you didn't get a chance to catch one yet, I guess this is another opportunity here. Though it's not as guaranteed since the other trainer could knock it out, but we claim our first point. Why does this give me like some uh, Gryffindor vibes? Or not Gryffindor, but like Hogwarts, you know? 10 points for Gryffindor! <laughs> Except it's, you know, one point and it's for catching Pokemon apparently. Uh, anyway, we got a Litwick out here. No, no, no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I thought I misclicked terribly, and I kind of did, but thankfully we still had to choose our target because Brutal Swing uh, is definitely super effective on this little ghost here. Oh, okay, Sizzlypede, making it flinch too. I hope that we're faster because if we are, we get the point, and if not, then we don't, but we are, and that is going to be the Litwick going down there to claim another point for Orangey Door. That's totally what my house would be called at Hogwarts. The Orangey Door? I don't know, that was pretty bad. Comment a better name below. Anyway, what do you got for us? We won't let you get through the Fire Gym's mission that easily. Okay, are there any more Pokemon actually? Because we've claimed two points so far. Oh, they respawn, I guess. Um, yeah, here's another Sizzlypede. So this is going to be easy actually, if we just keep using Charlie's Rock Tomb. Uh, we can definitely take out all of these Sizzlypedes over and over again. And even get Artorias some more experience because for some reason he's still leading the charge, leading the party. Should probably switch that up to just be Charlie in the first place, you know? But 
So land it. Goes for the fake out on us, actually. Wow. What a scum. I can't believe that. He tries to fake us out so we can't attack first. Well, you know what? I'm going to go for this rock tomb on you then. So land it. Let's see how that feels, Ellie. Who actually does use the Will-O-Wisp on us, too. That's so messed up. Come on, lady. I'm going to take out all your Pokemon, all right? Now I'm pissed. I'm mad. I've had it with this tomfoolery. But I'm pretty sure she's got more Pokemon. Or not. Okay. Well, her Salandit was pretty annoying, so it's a good thing she only had that one. Because uh, now we get to Rock Tomb the Sizzlypede with no, you know, uh, roadblocks, I guess. And take it down. One hit. KO. Is that enough points? Please tell me that's enough points. We got three already. Come on, Dan. How many do we need, brother? I'm going to just ask this man myself. Did you need something? Uh, I'm good, I guess. Good luck. Actually, I guess taking on these Litwicks is better experience for Artorius, who is the Pokemon that I want to gain the most experience here, so should probably just keep fighting these. Um, confirm now, though, we don't get experience for knocking out our partner's Pokemon, which kind of makes sense, you know? I guess that would be pretty messed up, too, if we did get experience for their Pokemon, but please don't critical hit it or something. Oh my gosh! I just... What? It actually was a crit! I was like, no, maybe he just got max damage, but no, he literally did crit it. That's so dumb, which means uh, that girl there gets a point now, and I am mad, dude. Okay, maybe we should just go for the Sizzlypede, though, because that's definitely the easiest one to take out. I mean, we might as well give Charlie the Amulet Coin, then, since we don't have anything that can really power up its moves. Um, it's good to at least get some extra cash flow going, so let's head on into the Sizzlypede yet again. And yeah, I guess you definitely do get a chance to catch one here in the gym if you didn't have one yet. As long as you don't knock it out in one hit like I've been doing. But pretty sure this Salanda is about to fake us out. So it's not like our Rock Tomb is going to hit anyway. That's so annoying. Why would you do that? And it goes for the Bug Bite on us too. Okay. And we're still burned. So Charlie, tough it out. I believe in you, dude. Do that. I mean, our only girl Pokemon on the team right now. And we're actually faster than Salandit somehow, which means our Rock Tomb is going to destroy the little Sizzlypede, despite all of your efforts to sabotage us. We're still coming out on top right now. Challenger Orange has already claimed himself four points. Just one more to victory! Yes, that's right. Unfortunately, we can't battle uh, the Sizzlypede again, so I guess we're going to go for the Litwick. All right, one more point to victory. As long as this thing doesn't get another critical hit, the uh, Sizzly Pete, I guess. Or we could go for a different move on our first turn and then just Brutal Swing on the second turn. Or actually just hit her Sizzly Pete, but that's kind of mean, you know. I'm not that type of trainer, okay? Even though they're out here trying to fake me out and everything, I'm not like that. I play by the rules, all right? So we're going to go for the Fury Cutter first turn there and we'll just uh, use our Brutal Swing second turn. Because I'm pretty sure we're faster. And I swear, if this Brutal Swing doesn't take it out, dude, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> I've been mad already, but oh my gosh. I'm so done. <gasps> he goes for Smokescreen, though. Why did he go for Smokescreen? <laughs> the mind games are too strong right now. Okay. Please don't hit us. Oh, thank you. Goes for the Hex on Sizzlypede there, actually. Which means we still get a chance to finish it off with our final Brutal Swing. And we're even going to take out her Sizzly P2. Now that's what I call buy one, get one free. That is if we actually got experience there from the Sizzly P2. But we don't. At least we still get the level 24 on Artorius there. And the final point in the gym mission. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Why, thank you, Dan, my man. Look at that stacked lineup. Clearing leader Kabu's gym mission like that. You are positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger! And another transition into the stadium. But before we head on in there, I definitely gotta heal up our team. Uh, Charlie got a little bit beat up there, and I'm pretty sure Charlie's gonna be, like, our main girl going into that battle. So, let's heal up Artorius too for good measure, and see if I have any burn heals, actually. Ah, yes, uh, Marnie actually gave us some, so... She knew what was coming. Maybe she already took on the gym herself. 
Uh, so let's actually put Charlie up first in the team and head on into Kabu Stadium as we feel the intense fire of the crowd. Breaking a sweat or just fixing our hair. Whoa, where'd you come from? Why does Kabu Loki remind me of my deal? That little jog, his like hoppity skippity little run there. I love it. Why does he do that? Is he trying to like warm up right now? And he hasn't said a single word, dude. This is too tense right now. Come on, Kabu. Oof. Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means that you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon's trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Yo, I'm liking the stadium though. All those red cracks on the ground, heating things up. I'm really feeling it. And it's time to face Gym Leader Kabu. Okay, I thought he had some final words for us, but nope, getting right into it. And starting off with Ninetales here. All right, Charlie, this is it. Moment of truth. Even though I don't think I ever intended Charlie to be a main part of the team, uh, she's ended up carrying us through a lot of battles, so you deserve a Pokemon League victory, all right? Ninetales is gonna start off with a Will-O-Wisp though, which is gonna put a bit of limit to the power on our Rock Tomb, you know, cutting our attack stat in half, but it shouldn't be too bad. We still do some decent damage, definitely not enough to take it out though, so I think I'm actually going to go for the Burn Heal right off the bat and hope that Ninetales doesn't somehow have a grass move. That's basically Charlie's uh, biggest nightmare right now, being a water rock type. If it literally even gets tapped by a branch poke, it will probably go down, so... All right, Ninetales goes for the Ember and doesn't get the burn, so we're still good there. Please don't go for the Will-O-Wisp. Okay, we're good. This Rock Tomb should finish off Ninetales, and that's it for Kabu's first Pokemon. Fabi the Beast. Not quite Fabi the Beast, though, I gotta say. I think Fabi would have done way better if that was, you know, the actual Fabi that Kabu was using. But it looks like Arcanine is up next. And I definitely want to save Charlie uh, for the final Pokemon, the Dynamax Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and give Flash a shot here. Hopefully it can handle a battle against another dog Pokemon out here. And that is, of course, Arcanine, who will be the top dog. We managed to take down a little Growlithe in the last episode from the Copper. But now we've got the big bad dog here in Arcanine. So um, let's actually just go for the Sparks right off the bat. I don't really think we need Nuzzle, and it turns out we don't, because we actually are faster and get the critical hit too, oh boy! Okay, but here comes the Will-O-Wisp, that's kind of annoying. More so because it cuts our attack stat, it's not even about the chip damage, like, that's never been the bad thing about uh, getting burned, I feel like, in Pokemon. It's really just about losing that attack stat, so, yeah, we're gonna do way less damage, but at least get the Paralysis there, as Arcanine goes for the Agility, okay! Well, you just got paralyzed, bub, so your speed is now cut in half, meaning that agility, uh, we're still probably faster, even with it. And we are! So, Flash is gonna finish it off in a flash. And the crowd goes wild! I love how Kabu's, uh, scarf, or I guess towel there around his neck, is flowing in the wind. Again, making me question, where the heck is the wind coming from inside the stadium? But... His final Pokemon, I believe I saw it said Sense to Scorch, which I've never heard of, but I have a feeling I know what it might be, judging by the posters in the background there. So, light that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu. There still must be a path to victory. I believe in you, Kabu. I believe that you're going to lose, that is. And there it is, the Sense to Scorch, the evolution of our very own Salsa. And you guys know what that means. It's time to Dynamax, baby. Now, if this thing is just like Sizzlypede, it will be a bug and fire type, meaning that our rock type move should one-shot it, but there's only one way to find out. So, Charlie, become Humongousaur! I'm pretty 
pretty sure that was a Ben 10 character. <laughs> For some reason, Dreadnought reminds me of that. Burn bright center scorch. Let Gigantamax change your size and form. Let's go, Kabu. Even though I obviously don't want this man to win, but whoa. His eyes just literally lit on fire there. Okay. Whoa. The Gigantamax Sentis Scorch is out here. Is that a Dynamax or a Gigantamax? Pretty sure he said Gigantamax, but it definitely doesn't look as big as our Dreadnought. And the giant slab of rock is gonna crush it down to size. Poor Mushu didn't even get a chance. Critical hit too, okay. I don't know if that was really necessary there. I think we might have still beat it in one hit just from the four times super effectiveness of rock moves. But down goes the Senta Scorch and Charlie comes out on top. Level 26 now. Get it. I feel like I gotta keep Charlie around now. Like I feel bad putting her back in the box now after clutching it for us so many times. But we did it and Kabu is crushed. Down on his knees, oh no. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. I don't know, it was a little surprising. Especially after everyone outside talked up how tough Kabu's gym was. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Very easily too. <laughs> Clearly, your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. You should start with like, walking like a normal person. <laughs> I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. It's time to shake on it and get ourselves the third badge of the Galar region, the Fire Badge, right in the middle. We can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture, and it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. If only adults were like that in the real world. No transition this time. Orange! I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dreadnought would be the ones. But still! That match had me right at the edge of my seat! Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Challenger Orange! I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. And we're gonna get the Will-O-Wisp. Very fitting, since that's like the only move that Kabu managed to hit on us. <laughs> the user shoots a sinister flame and inflicts burn. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself. Ooh. Does that include the towel around our neck too? I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you, starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. Okay. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright, even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves! Yes, I'm so excited to finally go back to the wild area, and of course this time we'll be able to play online, take on more Max Raid battles, so that'll of course be in the next episode. But we're not quite done with today. Not if Hop has something to say about it. Wait, where are you going? Hurry it up, Orange! Okay, we're hurrying, dude. Huh? Uh-oh. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off. Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who'll become the next champion, yeah? Calm down. There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Really? Trainers in the Galar region must suck then, because... This has not been the toughest trio of trainers here. Phew, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Orange, Hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Is it though? Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, hustle, Hop. You can do it. You can do it, Orange. <laughs> His face, what? <laughs> the gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, y'all. 
We're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we wanna face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Orange. Let's head for Hammerlock. Let's do it. What a nice send-off, though, from the trio of gym leaders there, the first three. They had such appropriate typings, too. Water, grass, fire, just like the starter Pokemon, of course. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Orange, Hammerlock is up that way, got it? Yes, across the bridge, which we once crossed before, but this time around might not be as bad. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. Oh, Bede. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish! More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not gonna listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then! I know you challenged Orange to battle in Galar Mine too, and lost to him there, and I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me! Oh god, <laughs> Hop is about to get humiliated, isn't he? All this prattle about Orange and the Champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything to show for your own? Okay, relax, Bead. He's got a really strong Wooloo. I'll show this Wally my skills. So see you later, Orange. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Oh boy. I want to see your battle though, Hop. Come on. You've been there to see all my greatest battles. Why can't we see Hop's battle? What? They disappeared. Where, where are you going to go battle, you little wallies? Whatever that means. Well, in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield, we will be exploring the wild area yet again. But you already know I couldn't resist myself from getting those watts to end off the episode. And let's actually talk to this man again, uh, who I believe rates our curry decks, right? Oh, wait, he can change the color of our tent, too. Oh, it's uh depending on the first Pokemon in your party, so... I guess we could actually get orange if we had, like, a dragon-type Pokemon, maybe? I don't know, but I've made three kinds of curry! <laughs> Great, a camping rookie. Well, I guess we might do some more of those in the next episode, which means that is going to be it for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, hope you all have a nice day, and I will catch you in the next one!